Welcome religion followers to Kruger National Park, South Africa. I'm going to show you what we've been experiencing for the last seven days, six nights, every day. We're going to take a look at finding animals at Kruger National Park. So out here I've got a viewpoint, one of the few places you can get out of your car and have a look around. So normally we'd be in our car driving along the road and just looking out at the same scenery trying to find some animals. So what's this scenery? Well let me show you. Mainly dead trees and dried grass as you can see. But you drive for about 55 minutes and eventually you'll spot something out the window. Hopefully something cool. So what might you see? Well I can see something right here. Let's see if I can find it on the camera. There's some elephants out here. Can you spot them? There we are. There's one elephant out there and her calf just there. So as you can see it's pretty hard to spot, especially if you're driving along at 20 kilometers, 30 kilometers an hour. So what's it like? Well let me tell you. Basically we would wake up at 6 a.m. every morning, 6 a.m., 5 a.m., 5 a.m. every morning, pack up our tent, we would then have breakfast and get ready to go out the gates when they open at 6 a.m. The gates then close at 6 p.m. So what would we do in those 12 hours? Well, we would drive. Put you back in, there we go. We would drive. And we would drive for 12 hours every single day. And we would look out at dead trees and dry, dry grass for basically those 12 hours. 55 minutes you'd see something. You'd see nothing for 55 minutes. Then five minutes you might see something. So what would you see? Well, we'd see Impala all the time. Impala is great on your first day, maybe your second day. But after that, you see Impala, like, oh, great, there's more Impala. And you just want them to die. You want a lion to come on right in front of you, pounce on it, and you want to see a kill. But occasionally, you'll see other things. What do you see? Lots of giraffe, lots of elephants. We've seen hundreds of them, some of them a few meters away. We've seen crocodiles, we've seen hippos, we've seen, seen some hyena, that's really cool. What else do we see? Well, we've seen some cats. We've seen leopards. Leopards are stunning. Beautiful. Leopard print on a leopard, great. Leopard print on a woman, terrible. What else? Lions. A lot of lions. So, what did we just see? We saw a pack of lions and it was amazing. So, picture this. We went a view like this and we could see out into a dam. And then behind that dam, there was a dead wildebeest or buffalo. Hard to tell. It was eaten alive. And just hiding in the trees near there were a pack of about 10 lions. We had two males, four or five females, and a whole bunch of cubs. Occasionally they'd go out and eat something, they'd eat some of their, their kill, and then they'd go back into the shade and hide. But then, this huge herd of elephant came out, just walked out, and they wanted to go drink at the dam. Problem was, they were walking, do 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 it's fine. Suddenly, well, okay, there's a huge pack of lions. It's just getting windy, so I'm gonna bring this closer. Huge pack of lions. So the elephants, they're not sure what to do. What do you do when that happens? Well, they just stood there, the lions laid there, they just eyed each other off. Then all of a sudden, from the distance, ah, oh, wind, we saw a huge pack of elephants. There's already like 20 there, and there's 30 more coming. And these 30 start trumpeting, and the others start trumpeting to each other come running and they form this huge pack of elephants. Now there's like 50 elephants and 10 lions. The elephants, they don't seem so afraid anymore. So the elephants start walking up to exactly where the lions were. You know, it's huge down. They could have drunk, had a drink anyway, but they wanted to go exactly where the lions were to have a drink. So they start walking up. The lions see this and they stand up. Now the elephants slow down and there's a pack of lions looking at the elephants. And there's a pack of elephants looking at the lions. The elephants slow down, but they don't stop. They have a whole lot of babies with them. That's okay. They've got some big fucking elephants there. A lot bigger than lions. So they walk up. And these lions kind of start to split apart. And they realise, I think they're going to lose. They can't do anything about this. So as the elephants get closer, about eight of the lions, pretty much all the lions, they go off into the background. There's one lion stuck on the other side. So he just stays there. He crouches down. And the elephants just start walking past. But... A couple elephants don't like this. They see they've got these little tiny baby elephants with them. Tiny, tiny, bigger than me, but tiny. 
and they're not liking this one lion just crouching down. Looks like it's going to attack. So they get pissed off. These two big elephants start running up to this lion. This lion stands up and holds its ground, and then suddenly these elephants charge full pace at it, and the lion runs off, and the elephants start chasing it, and the lion sprints away, and everything goes crazy for a minute. And eventually the lion gets away and goes and joins its friends. So that's the type of thing you get to see five minutes out of every hour at Kruger. What else have we seen? Well, we've seen lots of lions. We saw one that I spotted. I was very proud of it. It's pretty hard to spot a lion. Adriana went out because she was on the other side. She couldn't see it as well. She got out of the car. This lion saw Adriana got out. Went down, crouching position. Adriana was like, uh, is it eyeing me off? It's like, nah, it's fine. And then suddenly the lion started running. Adriana freaked out. Fair enough. Thinks there's a lion attacking you. You're going to fucking freak out, aren't you? And she runs and tries, opens the door, and I have to unlock the door quickly. And she jumps into the car, and the lion runs off into the river. What else? We had a huge pack of elephants. We stopped. We were letting them pass in front, but they decided to change course slightly, and they went straight on top of us. So we had elephants around the front, elephants around the back. That was fine, until one big bull elephant decided to stand in the middle of the road looking at us and say, hey, what are you guys doing here? We're trying to get through. I guess the same as what happened with the lions. What did we think? Whoa, great photo opportunity. So we wind down the windows and Adrian and I go outside the windows, look at it. And this elephant suddenly sees humans coming out the door. It's not fucking happy. And it starts stamping its feet and raising its trunk. And so Adriana freaks out again. And I'm like, okay, let's get back in, close the door. And he left us. So we've had lots of crazy cool experience like that. Kruger, it's been amazing. So this is it for South Africa, our final hour here, and we drive off to Mozambique where you'll get another update. Adios.